Okay, so Tommy, let's review today's class. Um, so just a couple things. The first thing was just your alignment. So here was the target. It was the 50. And we could see that your feet were aiming to the right. Uh, this is a new problem, not an old one, right? The old one was that your feet were aiming too far to the left. Uh, so we, we drew a line on the ground here just to kind of help with your alignment. And your feet line should be parallel to your target line. So they should be like parallel like this. And that will certainly help with the direction that you hit the golf ball. Now, uh, a lot of your shots were slightly, uh, actually quite a bit going in to out, and the average about 7 or 8 degrees. So one thing we can see here is we can see your club was kind of pointing over here off to the right. So we talked about what we could do to improve this. So I gave you this ball. Uh, it is quite dark, but if I lighten it up here, I gave you a ball and I put it between your arms. Let's see if we can see it lighting up here. There we go, it's starting to show up. So you can see there's this ball here in between your arms. And basically the idea behind this is that it's going to keep your elbows close closer together. And you can see as we do that, it doesn't allow your club to uh, necessarily, what we said, cross the line as much. Um, and that's going to help with your club path, which will then also help with the quality of the contact of the golf shot. So after doing some training, then we let you hit some shots without the ball and what we'll notice is is that as you go back this is there's no ball in your arms you'll look at the top of the backswing your club look at that is pointing almost perfectly you can see where the club is right behind your hands there it's pointing almost perfectly towards the target right which if you compare to the before over here it's in a completely different position than uh, the start of today so the idea is, is that if you do that draw, oops let me draw a line here. If you do that with some practice, what it's going to allow is that one, as you see, as you take the club back, it's going to allow you to keep the club on the club path, which looks quite good along that line. And then two, as you start to come down, it's going to allow your club to kind of follow this original line. You can see here, it comes all the way down, stays in that club path the whole way. And that should help you hit the ball a little higher on the club face and you can see here more in the center of the club face as well. Uh, now it's going to take some practice for sure um, but the idea and the, uh, of what you need to do is there and now you need to put some time in with some practice. Now you said is this going to affect your driver at all? It shouldn't have any negative effect with your driver and you can try to hit some shots with your driver. Uh -huh. Same. Feel the same. Feel the same. It Yep, but remember what we talked about with your setup and how your head position should work, right, with the driver, so you swing up still, yeah. and how your shoulders should work. Those things still need to be the same with your driver. Yeah, but how your arms work can be the same. It should be the same. Try it out. And I said if you have any problems, then you let me know, and we'll, we'll go from there. But I think it should be fine. Uh, so then, yeah, so then you started to get two things. Well, one, you started to get the ball to fl start straight towards your target, which you did here. The contact was slowly getting better, um, and the club path was, by the end, you went from about an average of 7 to 8 to down to about 5 degrees. So I'd like to get maybe 3 or 4 degrees with the irons, yeah. Uh, but certainly a better improvement for sure. And again, it, you just look at those, I mean, you really, you look at this line here, uh, and I'll do the same over here on the left. So you can see here the club was going just a little bit inside behind you there. And that's because the arms are opening up here. Keep the arms closer together. Club stays a little bit more on closer to the line. Top of the backswing is obviously better. Top of the backswing here is quite crossed. And then what you'll notice is as you come down here, for you, the club head was just getting a little bit under that this line, just a little, just a little bit. And that's the sign of going end out here in this position, right there. You can see your shaft is almost parallel with the original one. That looks really good. I like that. And uh, sorry, let me get I deleted that line. And then as you come down, the club head kind of follows that green line a little bit better, and that's going to allow you to make that better strike in the contact. So. Uh, I want you to work on that and then also work on the chipping and pitching where we talked about with how your wrist should work. Get those thumbs to point more in front of you. Keep the hands close. 
uh, but get the thumbs to point more in front of you to help with how your wrists work. Don't let the club get too far behind you. So anyways, work on these, uh, these few things, and I look forward to hearing how your progress is.